Argentina sign off from Rugby World Cup 2019 with a win, 47-17 over the USA. Pretty decent effort all round, I think. There's still things they'll look at and uh, be a wee bit disappointed with. US had a few bright spots. Again, things they'll be disappointed with as well. Uh, The US have still got one game to go, which is kind of their, their own World Cup final to try and walk away from the competition with a win. But for Argentina... Uh, like I say, that is it. They are they're done. Um, back home after this one. Uh, it started with Matera getting a bit of blood. There was a bit of a clash early. Uh, so he had to go up to get some stitches, I would imagine, because uh, him and Lasique both, both looked pretty worse for wear early. The US actually built some phases to start with. They went like five plus phases. But the Argentinian defense held and eventually got themselves a turnover. That was all in the Argentinian half as well. Uh, and then Delgui on the on the counter. That guy looks sharp. It's it's kind of a pity that guys like Delgui and Bertrandu and whatnot went into this tournament on the back of fairly long injuries. So if they'd been playing Super Rugby all year, they might have been able to make better contributions. But they sure looked sharp. I mean, Delgui ended up kind of tripping himself over uh, from his break. Uh, eight minutes, Argentina get a maul. They go five phases. Uh, there is an intercept, but they, they go back for the advantage in the US 22. And then uh, the TMO has a look at a potential try for Escura. Uh, it's an on-field try, but they ended up giving it a no try for, uh, I think it was Matera holding one of the US players back. So so no real early score, no super early one. It takes pretty much 20 minutes to get going in terms of the scoreboard ticking over. Uh, 14 minutes, the US actually went pretty close. Uh, there was a big fend. Uh, but some loose passing and uh, Argentina able to pick the ball up so yeah I mean it's it's a pity for you for the US in terms of the game that they weren't able to convert early but likewise Argentina will feel the same way eventually uh, 19 minutes Sanchez does get the first try of the game um, Tio kind of almost caught him uh, and uh, Sanchez did well to actually get the ball down because he ended up not with the ball on the ground when he was over the line, but he managed to get the ball down before before Tio could do anything about it. And um, it all started from a Malia line break, and he was man of the match. I'll get to his stats at the end, but it was 7-zip. Uh, 24 minutes, took a lead, gets a try. It was very nice for him uh, to get a try in this game. Uh, it was a chip through Tio again. Uh, he missed it with the funky bounce, and it's 14-0 to Argentina. Uh, 34 minutes, Argentina go through phases again. Uh, took a lead. It looks like he's kind of got no rights to score because there's a few defenders there, but he goes low and he manages to beat them. Um, the USA actually did well to stop them all in the preceding play, but they couldn't stop Argentina scoring. Uh, it's 19-0 because uh, they missed the conversion. And then 38 minutes, the USA get a penalty. They miss touch uh, with their penalty, but on 39 minutes, Scully gets a try. Uh, Lasique has the offload, uh, McGinty a little kick through, and uh, the conversion hits the post, so it's 19-5 uh, at half time. The run meters are at Argentina's favor, 289 to 120 at half time. Uh, positions 55% for Argentina, uh, same with territory. Tackling percentages, both sides are pretty decent, 86-81 with Argentina slightly better. Penalties conceded 3 to Argentina, 6 to America, so... Argentina kind of edging it without flat out dominating the game. Uh, second half starts with a U.S. attack, but then Delki, the guy's magic. I mean, my ideal back three would be Buffelli, who hasn't had the best like chances in this tournament. Uh, Delgi and Mojano, but um, we've only really just got to see a bit of Delgi starting uh, in this game. He runs the ball out from his own goal line. It's phenomenal, and then... Uh, from the preceding play, uh, eventually Malia gets his try uh, after they go a few phases for, after a line-out, and it's 26-5. Um, later on, Sanchez does a little fake kick move. He shapes the kick, doesn't kick, ends up beating a tackler, offloads to De La Fuente, who has a good line break, uh, and eventually Malia gets his second try. Again, it's De La Fuente who has the offload. He had a pretty good game as well. He's one of my favorite players. Uh, it's 33-5, starting to look pretty ugly for the Americans at that point. Uh, 55 minutes, De La Fuente gets uh, his own try. It's down the left wing from Carreras, and he puts in a good pass. He's only a young player, 
And he might have just been thinking maybe pin the ears back, really try to beat that one last man. But no, he passes to De La Fuente uh, and they get the try. And it all started from the US losing their own line out. And I'll get to that stat as well, as well at the end. Uh, but it's 40 points to five. Finally, on the hour, Mark Lasique, uh, he gets a try for the US in the second half. He just barrels through like he's kind of known to do. Brings it back to 40 points to 12, so it's still pretty one-sided. And um, yeah, Bertrino does get the last uh, try for, for Argentina to keep the pressure on. He has a nice little step move in it. So in a game which didn't have much on the line, uh, it certainly had quite a few kind of moments of magic, which is nice to see. Uh, and again, that, that try from Butchino started with a line break from Malia. So that guy really was everywhere. 47-12, but the U.S. get the last say with Scully getting the second try. They've got a all. They have advantage. It's a big looping pass, and he's out there on his own. Uh, so he cruises over for a try. So it finishes 47-17. Uh, the final stats of the game... Run meters are 582 to 250, so Argentina pretty dominant there. Guys like Malia and Delgui really racking the meters up. But the U.S. actually ended up with more position, 52%, and more territory, 53%. In the second half, they were 60, 60 plus percent in terms of position and territory. So they were doing aspects of the game well. But then you look at their line out, it was operating at 75%. Argentina only missed one out of their 14. Uh, tackling percentage, the U.S. dropped from that good 80 at the first half, so their second half play without the ball, uh, tackling at 60% overall, so pretty poor, whereas Argentina maintained 82%. Had to make more tackles than the U.S., though. That's, again, with the U.S. having a bit more of the ball. And penalties conceded was 12 to 8 overall, so the, uh, the Argentinians, Argentinians were on the wrong side of the ref uh, in that uh, second half. Individuals, Malia... Two tries, two try assists, no wonder he was man of the match. Uh, 164 run meters, which is awesome. Six clean breaks and 10 defenders beaten. Only one guy had him beaten for defenders beaten. That was Delgui. He had 11 defenders beaten and 114 run meters. Uh, Alemano was the best tackler for Argentina with 18 out of 19. Uh, Hermes and McGinty for the US both made 13 out of 15, uh, which is a pretty good effort for them as well. But yeah. That's it for the Argentinians and their very nice jersey. We didn't get to see their away jersey, but they are they are done for the tournament. The US have still got that one game. They're not going to go through. It's England and France for this pool. But um, yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts on this game. How did you think it went? Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.